Hello and welcome to WMT Reviews, I am Wiseman Tanofsky, and today we're having a look at the first of the new Age of Extinction line with this, the Voyager Class Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Now I get the fluff out of the way nice and quickly, Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots, and in this film's continuity, he has altered his form in order to better enable himself to hide from the forces of Cemetery Wind. And this Marmon 97 semi-truck mode was intended to emulate his old 80s original G1 vehicle mode, and this toy succeeds in that quite nicely. Now, one problem I have with the vehicle mode is it doesn't always properly transform. I, you can see here, it, it's not entirely flat. You can wiggle it around and try and get his legs all straightened up. You still get a good bit of rollability out of it. It's all good. Now, his transformation is very reminiscent of the previous generation's line. Complex, but satisfying. Open up these back panels at the back here, and that will release the arms. Also releasing a few components at the front here. Fully just open up this entire cab section. Now, the arms are always quite complicated. You've got to sort of swivel this section out and rotate the arm all the way around. Do the same thing on this side. Open it out a bit so you can swivel the arm all the way around. Now you can start to form Optimus's chest. Fold it up like that, rotate the front of the cab all the way around, and pop it in on top there. Then peg the whole chest section together, fold up the pipes, and clip the whole thing together. Straighten them up, come down here, press down here to release the legs, and there's the feet there. And you're more or less there. And here you have Evasion Mode Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And it is a very nice robot mode. Everything is where it should be that we're used to from the film series so far. If I had to complain about something, he's too small. This is a Voyager class figure. And it's just not Voyager class. But aesthetically, it's great. Another minor aesthetic complaint I would have is that these two sections here should be this gunmetal grey as opposed to this blue. Similarly to these sections down here, this is an armour. These are the interior workings of his body. So surely it should be the same colour as this. The armour should be the bits that are blue and red, and these bits should be gunmetal grey. If we have a look at the face sculpt here, it's not the usual Optimus Prime face sculpt. We don't have the face guard that normally comes up to cover his face, and it's what we normally get with an Optimus Prime figure. This one has gone for the expressive face, and he's got a very sombre expression, which is perfectly suited for this film. Posability-wise, you get a lot of options. The head is the most limited part, barely moves at all. The arms will go all the way around at the shoulder and all the way out. There is a swivel in the bicep and a bend in the elbow down by the windows here. His wrists will rotate about 15 degrees, but that's about as much as you're going to get out of them. His waist will rotate, not all the way around. The legs will go all the way out, all the way forwards, and all the way back. Now, there's no thigh swivel, but there is a very satisfying knee joint, and his feet are very poseable indeed. So, lots of options for posability on this figure. Now, you can see here, Optimus Prime's posability does make him one of the more expressive figures in the line. What with the new simplified designs, I wasn't expecting this level of posability, so I'm very, very impressed. Now, accessories-wise, Optimus Prime is supplied with an ion blaster shotgun. Now true, he does have a shotgun in the movie, but we all know what this is. This is Megatron's fusion shotgun from Dark of the Moon. It does fire. It doesn't go very far, even if you haven't put your hand in the way of it. But it's a very nice gimmick, and it does sort of fit into his hand. But you can see here, the peg is actually below the handle. So even if you get the shotgun into his hand on the peg, the handle is sticking out. Bit of a design flaw there, but you know, it, it only 
noticeable from certain angles. All in all, this is a very nice figure indeed. Not as nice as previous Voyager class primes that we've had, but still definitely the better prime from this series, considering how awful the leader class is. And for that, I'm going to give it a very average 7 on the Orsometer, because it is a very small Voyager class. So that's a 7 on the Orsometer for Age of Extinction, Voyager class, Evasion Mode, Optimus Prime. I've been Wiseman Tanofsky, this has been WMT Reviews, thank you very much for watching.